Hey everybody, BK Stun here with another map overview. This time we are doing Route 66, and as you can see I'm doing a quick play with some Team AI bots. Uh, should be fun, maybe a little unpredictable, but it's definitely a more entertaining way to do these map overviews. Uh, Route 66 is an escort map. You can kind of see the vehicle, the payload, through the walls over there. And we're about to go out and fight. Uh, I did want to point out something cool about this map. You see these plans here. Explosive ordnance and uh, kind of like markers where to blow up a bridge. It's, I mean, that's what it looks like. If you go out here, you can see this was put into practice. Someone has blown up this bridge, this military train, taken its cargo and loaded it onto the payload there. And so that's how, don't know how I got that kill. That's how it is our job to uh, take, pick up this payload and deliver it to where it's supposed to go. Now, um, I'm on the attack team, of course, so this is all in attack team perspective. But when you leave, watch out for people right there. People like Bastion, Soldier, love to get up there and fight. There is a small health kit here you can make use of. I did set my AI to be a little stronger than theirs. So they're going to do fine without me because I want to show the map off to you. But, uh, yeah, so this is the first area you're going to fight in. Um, this is the main road, obviously, but there is a area off to the right there that you can go to, and an area off to the left here. Be careful of Torbjorn turrets and other things right here. There's a pathway right there and right there. This actually has a large health kit, very handy, leads to the gas station. And this right path is just uh, kind of out of the way. As you can see, people can use it to sneak behind the attacking or the defending team. There's a small health kit right there and another one right there. So in this um, in this gas station, the lower level has another large health kit. But more importantly, be careful of anybody on the top here. I mean, it's a great place to put turrets at. You put Bastion and Reinhardt up here. Just a very good place to uh, get a head up above the enemy. The enemy, for their part, will be coming from either there, there, as you saw. Okay, just stand there. That's fine. Or right there. Uh, so that's where the enemy is going to come from. Uh, you can fight in and around this gas station, of course. The main road kind of just loops around it. Uh, but once you get to that gate, you're done with the uh, you're done with the first third of this map, and we're going to go on to the second third of the map. This upper pathway, like I showed you earlier, just wraps around here. There's a ledge right there leading behind this billboard. Nothing special. I mean, there's an area to hide behind right there, area to hide behind right there. Um, nothing too noteworthy or special. And these these uh, these tunnels just lead around that gateway because that gateway is going to be shut as soon as the payload goes through it. Okay, so this is the second of the second of three areas we're going to have to go to. And uh, it features this giant saloon as the main attraction. It's the road just going to rope around the saloon, go to another gate, and then we're going to be in the last third of the map, which is the warehouse. But this area, there is a there is a large health pack right there, as you can see. And this uh, this pathway just leads behind the back side of the saloon. There's the gate that we have to go to, so this is just a good way to get behind. Enemies are going to come from either there, well, they usually never come from there, but you'll see them either come from there or from up here, which is where their spawn point is. Their spawn point is actually just right there. You can see them coming out of it right now. But this upper walkway, you really need to be careful of people like Soldier or Torp Jones being up here. Um, maybe even Widowmakers. As you can see, it's just a great place to get up here, fire at the enemy. Uh, there's a little warehouse building right here, and this, this top area just leads up and around to the first area, as you can see. But this warehouse, you can actually drop down here. Another large health pack right there. And this saloon has both an upper level and a lower level. Oh my, I am falling behind. I better hurry. Nothing special in the lower level. It's just a place where you can hide, uh, recharge your abilities, something like that. Same for the upper level. Nothing special. Uh, nothing, no health packs up here. But it is a good area to get up here. You can fire away the enemy. Back in my day, we have this payload delivered already. Not much special to be said. There's an upper area right here, as you can see. Kind of a 
place a Widowmaker or a Farrah can hang out. Okay, we are into the third area now. Where are you? No? Okay. I guess we're safe. <laughs> Alright, so this warehouse is pretty cool. Lots of pathways. Like usual, everything in Overwatch has a lot of pathways. This one has moving platforms. As you can see, Torbjorn likes to put his turret there every now and again. You can take the long back way if you want. Great to get behind enemies. And there's a large health pack right there. There's another small one over there. But as you can see, this leads up and around. Uh, there is another large health pack over here. Right there, as you can see. You can get on top of these trailers. And that is our final destination right there, where we want to get the payload to. They will be spawning in from there and there, as you can see. Uh, but we are almost there, so let's quickly look at the rest of this map. This right area has another another health pack right there. Uh, and it leads up and around to above the payload. I mean, other than that, there's not too much to say. Be careful of people hiding behind these two large struts right here. Uh, be careful of people being up here and firing from on top of you and using this health pack. Just try to control this health pack in general if you can. Uh, it's a pretty short stretch, but as you get closer and closer to the end destination, the enemy's going to come out faster and faster. Um, so yeah, this is where you want to use your ultimate abilities and finish things up if you can. Uh, thankfully, this is just AI, so I really have no need to use my ultimate. We're going to win this pretty handedly. But that is Route 66 in a nutshell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the different pathways and all the health packs and wherever they are. Um, it should increase your survivability quite a bit. I don't know how I got this. I mean, you play against AIs, you should get play of the game pretty easily. Oh, uh, yeah, this was the two kills. That's pretty easy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will see you in the next map overview video. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Epic. Yes.